It's time of the essence. Time is, is of the essence. Game. <laughs> oh yeah, what's the big hurry? You have a fancy party in Starlight City to get to? Actually, yes. <clears throat> I'm getting married. Uh, rude. Th you were supposed to be able to be bae. Married? He's getting married. I know it's silly, but I feel oddly deflated. Well, that certainly is very, very important. Can't be late for your own wedding. That's one of the main things about getting married, I assume. Yes, I think you're right. We'd better make haste. There's something hard in his eyes as he says that, though. Or am I just imagining it? Either way, I'm sure it's none of my business. Once the prince is secure on my shoulder, I start walking. So, uh, what's the Fae Kingdom like? Didn't your people, like, invent the airship and stuff? How come you didn't take one of those to Starlight? We've invented a great many things. <laughs> An airship is, indeed, what carried me to the tavern, but our ships aren't made for flying in harsh weather. The tavern was as far as they would bring me. After that, I had to arrange an alternative mode of transport. Oh, Hamster, I'm sorry. I kind of resent being reduced to a mode of transport. But it's alright. As I've said, I've done my fair share of hard travel in my life. This shouldn't be much different, even if I must partially rely on you. Hey, I'm not that bad. Am I? Oh, oh, oh no, of course not. It's just... <laughs> try to understand. I look at you, and it's hard to imagine how such huge, thick legs and feet aren't just constantly tripping over themselves. Wow, he just came out and said that, didn't he? I like to think I have a pretty thick skin. If somebody doesn't like how I look, they can just go ahead and keep being wrong. But with him, I feel like I can't just let it go. That That's totally ridiculous. When have you seen me trip over a thing? Uh, I suppose that's fair. You are rather steady on your feet. It's just that navigating a dangerous stretch of land such as Mountain Needle, it requires delicacy, finesse, a certain precise quality of movement which a person of your size simply cannot have. Your legs are like massive pillars, well suited to hold a slab of rock off the ground, but I wouldn't ask them to dance. Oh, like you're such a good dancer. Well, I'm not the best of the best, but I am classically trained. Oh, I don't care. What do you know, anyway? I'm delicate. I'm precise. I'm as... I'm graceful as anything. Oh, yes, of course. So much that you would walk into a door within five minutes of meeting me. I told you. That was just because. Because... Ugh, never mind. Besides, that could happen to anyone. Who among us hasn't walked into a door? I have never once walked into a single thing that I did not intend to walk into. That's the first thing they teach you at the academy. <laughs> First thing, <laughs> Sorry. item number one. What fucking academy is he talking about? <laughs> oh boy. Picks up Tiny Mountain and throws it. <laughs> His mention of an academy stirs something in my memory. Yeah, that's right. Some of the scholars he used to work for mention some big famous school in the Fae Kingdom. Oh, you mean Lafata Academy, right? You went there? I've heard it's very prestigious. Wow, Xena! Oh, wow. Did, I hope chat saw that. <laughs> I don't think they this did. Black blur. She just like she nearly tore across the whole, my whole keyboard. Desk. Zena, get down. Oh, uh, she's it's hopeless now. Zena, get down. Oh, she's just looking out the window. Uh. Or okay, so it's fine. I didn't miss anything. Mm, it's still you. Or more accurately, snobby. But I'm not gonna say that out loud. Guilty as charged. I'm impressed that you've heard of it. Oh. Why? Because you think I'm too big and dumb to know what a school is? I never went to any fancy academy. Probably couldn't even get into yours. I'm trying to keep... Xena. <laughs> Xena. Oh my god. Xena, you gotta stop doing the thing. Hey. I think she's gonna jump. Oh, and I'm gonna disarm the cat. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the resentment out of my tone without oh. much success. Come here. Take the take the child. No, she's gone. The child's gone. <laughs> okay. Don't be silly. Of course you couldn't get into Lafata. Oh yeah? And why not? You'd never fit through the door. <laughs> mm. 
You got me. Yes, I've had that one in my pocket quite a while. <laughs> what is this, a kingdom for <laughs> ants? <laughs> Good. Take a small break from walking and lean against a tree. It's good to know he has a sense of humor. Still not sure how I feel about how he talks to me. I steal a glance at him, and from the look on his face, he seems to have some idea of what I'm thinking. Rosemary, I... I do apologize if I've been rude. You may not believe this, but I don't take any pleasure in being so venomous. Uh, I've been feeling anxious lately. Not that it's any excuse. You're helping me. And I should be more appreciative. You should. <laughs> Apology accepted. I hope it wasn't rude either. Or do you really think my legs look huge and gross? Real, real in, in real life, this guy's a dick. <laughs> He's also like this big. Like, He's to a call, dick. To call someone no. huge though, when you're like, you are huge. This guy, yeah, I just. Everyone's huge. You it's a matter the, of perspective. You missed the achievement. The achievement was what is this a kingdom for ants? And I was really happy. Top one? No, I, I want to know about the bottom one. Because then he's going to elaborate from his whole, like, tiny world perspective. What if he's a polygamist? I think Scooby might have been on the nose when he said it was an arranged marriage. Be nice. <laughs> Which one are we doing, guys? I say bottom one. I don't think we're that kind of girl. Dina. I think that's fun. And so does Chad. Apology accepted. I hope I wasn't rude either. No, no, you you have been very accommodating to me. Accommodating. <laughs> accommodating. Accommodating <laughs> to me so far. That words get so many consonants. I know. <laughs> I could hardly ask for more of a companion. Thank you, Rosemary. Sometimes I just read something entirely different. Then what's there? I just yeah, go with it. You it. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Just trying to do my job, you know? Of course you are. And you're doing it well. I should certainly be more respectful and not try not to pick at you. It's uncouth. It's just that, well, you must understand that from my perspective, you are rather large. And it doesn't always occur to me not to mention it. I don't mind you mentioning it, but you shouldn't make assumptions either. You wouldn't like it if I called you small all the time, would you? He smiles, but his eyes narrow. I can tell how much he hates it. As a reasonable person, I can understand why you might see me that way. But the fact is, I'm not small. I happen to be the ideal height for what I am. A perfect specimen of a fey gentleman, some would say. Well, I'm the perfect specimen of a rosemary, then. He smiles at me again. This time I can tell it's genuine. I can certainly believe that. Point taken. So, I guess you're probably not used to people my size, huh? On the contrary, I deal with your kind often. I travel regularly on behalf of my kingdom. If a man truly loves his home, his duty is to leave it, so he should know that it's worth all the more by comparison. Taking that to heart, I've visited every major city in the land. I'm not content to be some pampered prince, sitting at home, giving nothing <laughs> back to the people who gave me everything. Though I do admit I've been handed many things on a silver platter. Enrollment at La Fada Academy, to name just one, a school which many of those less fortunate than I would have given anything to attend. I've not forgotten that fact. I've always worked as hard as I could and excelled at my studies. My skills are hard-earned, not simply the result of my impeccable breathing. <laughs> I wanted to take full advantage of what I was given, and so, once I finished my education, I put those gifts to work, in the service of my kingdom. I travel, meet diplomats, research, and engage in <laughs> politics firsthand. This guy's gotta shut up. <laughs> I even served in our volunteer army for a time. <laughs> it's okay, Faulkner. I believe you work hard. You have to keep trying to convince me. Oh, pardon me. Was I rambling? Ahem. Yeah, see? Shut up, dude. I'll continue to work hard as long as I live. That's why I'm here now, on this mountain. This journey... with you. I put a marshmallow in my mouth. Yeah, you gotta talk with a marshmallow in your mouth. I put a whole thing in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Just... She was eating. 
What was Nightmare's eating when she said this? Okay. But you're crossing this mountain so you can get married, right? It's not exactly hard work. It's a blessing. That's what my folks say about marriage anyway. They've been married for, like, forever. So they're all corny about that stuff. I'm sure they're right. But, Rosemary, may I be honest with you? In a way that may tarnish your spotless impression of me? Oh, man. Oh, he's, here comes the drop. Uh, of course, Faulkner. The truth is, my feelings about this marriage are mixed, to say the least. I mean, don't mistake me. I do feel excited. <laughs> but then, when I think about it for too long, I start to feel somewhat ill. But perhaps it's natural to be nervous. I suppose it goes without saying, but I've never done this before. Wow, really? You've never been with someone before? M my dear, I most, most certainly have, but that's neither here nor there. I've never been married. I'm not sure I know how to be a husband. There wasn't a class at Lafada Academy for that particular discipline. <laughs> Sorry, can we just like only talking about kissing <laughs> this guy <laughs> and how you would try and like kiss someone yeah. who's like... <laughs> hmm, let's think about this. Are you at least marrying for love? Here we go. Uh, yes, I believe I am. It took him a moment to answer. Did he really have to think about it? And there's that hard look in his eyes again. Why should I feel sad talking about this? I barely know him, but I feel it all the same. Well, if you're sure, I know it'll work out. If you're sure you have the right reasons, that's like a solid foundation and everything else will build on top of that. You may be right. You are singularly wise, Rosemary. <laughs> no trouble, is this a friend zone scene? No, this guy is like, uh, busting out of the friend zone, the storyline, it appears. Because <laughs> he's supposed to be getting married, but that's just his story. <laughs> no way, I just pick up stuff here and there. Do you really think so? Well, of course. How could I not? Uh, <clears throat> how about you? There must be something special in your life. Oh, no, no. I've never had anything like that, actually. Ever since I left home, I've been trying to become a knight. It's busy work, and I don't stay in one place for long. What do you mean, you and the guy? Like, me and this guy? Me? This guy? He's definitely not in the friend zone. He lives here. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, are you friend zoning me? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to find out this Oh, way. no. <laughs> My nightmare. This was true. It was all prophesized. So I don't have a lot of opportunities to, like, meet people. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, you had stream. to find out And on stream. <laughs> well, it's all about the brand, right? It's it's all about the brand, that's true. <laughs> and here's where chat turns on you. <laughs> uh, no. This is really a ploy for them um, to engender sympathy for me so I, I can slowly take over. I'm the new Nick. I would win chat in the breakup, don't even lie. Uh, Chat's on my side. <laughs> Aren't you guys doing some... That would be a bannable offense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't be weird. And then you'd have to donate a lot more. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> that... <laughs> I'm banning you from this stream. Everything has a price. I don't know, I'd go with Ben. Poke, <laughs> you're, on, you're on thin ice. <laughs> Power to Ben. Ah... <sighs> Okay, uh, so we got a choice up here. Anyway, I think were Chat. we were we excited to to meet him? I feel like we were excited to meet him. That's just fine. It's fine. I think I think we should be like. We we want to kiss. We want to touch butts. We were we were too excited. We were so excited. He knows we were excited. We were staring at him the whole time. We told him because he was beautiful. Actually, I was kind of...